Hello, this is Gracefree Solutions. In this video, I'll be showing how to change the color of your background in Photoshop. If you're ready, let's dive right into the video. Okay, so right before us, we have a blank canvas, but since this, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to show you how we got to this very stage. Okay, so we are going to start all over by creating a blank document. Okay, so you go to File, New, and then um, of course when when you begin or when you open your Photoshop interface, okay, this is the um, window you're going to come with or come uh, face to face with. So you have to know how to navigate this, right? So now. What we want to do is to create a new document so we can give the project a title. Let's just say background um, color change or background color. All right, so we can give it any dimension of our choice. Let's just say uh, inches. Okay, four, let me just use a four by four inches. Okay, say four by four. All right, um, you can, the resolution should be crisp and sharp, so I prefer using 300 all the time. All right, so you click um, and then you're done. Okay, and so, like I always say, if you want to print your um, documents, okay, if you if you want to print your color, um, if you want to print your design, you should only leave it in uh, C and Y K. All right, then you click what create. All right, so here we are in our blank camera. So the next thing we can, of course, you can rename this as a background. Okay, so let's rename that the background layer as our background layer, so we can. Um, of course, it's good work practice. So the first thing you do, um, or the next thing you do rather, is to change the background of this color. Now, what you have um, on your toolbar here, okay, where you have this color, two color, ba as, um, two color boxes here. One is the foreground color, and the other is the background color. All right. So we want to change. Um, so you click the foreground color, and of course, let's say I want to change the background to a deep green color, something like this. Okay, so I select the color I wish to change it to and then I click OK. And the next thing I do is to um, um, come to where we have the um, pen bucket. So now, if you're using Photoshop for the first time, most times you're going to see that this option is going to be on your gradient tool. So how do you locate your pen bucket? You just hold, um, okay, you click where you have the gradient tool, you hold it down and select pen bucket, right? Now, as you can see, um, our option have changed okay there's a mistake there so you you ensure that the background layer is active okay we click that now as you can see the paint bucket to um the um, cursor has changed to the the um, shape of a bucket all right now of course that means that the paint bucket tool the paint bucket tool is active so the next thing we click on our blank canvas to change the color good so as you can see we have successfully changed the color you can of course repeat the process go back to your to your foreground color option here Okay, you can change to another color. Let's say I want a deep blue color. All right, so I click the, I click OK, and of course I click the background layer again. So let's say you want a gradient color, not a solid color on your background. Now, of course we can undo this by pressing Ctrl Z. All right, now if you want a gradient um, color combination on your background, it's very very simple, and, and I'm going to show you that in this video as well. Now, of course you can first of all drop your paint bucket tool here. Now where you have you come beneath okay below here where you have these icons you have um, um uh, click a new layer this is your bin option new folders and all that but the option we want here is called the fill layer it says create new fill or adjustment layer so we click this option and then we go for gradient all right good so as you can see the color of um, our background has changed to a gradient color it goes from light to dark Okay, now let's say I want to change this color to something else. I don't want this color, so I go and click my gradient option here under um, the dialog box here that has popped up. Okay, so you click your gradient option, and then we have a plethora of options. We have the basics, okay, we have the blues, purple, and all that. But let's say I want a blue or I want a purple, so I click the purple option. So these are the, the color palettes or color or color combination options that we have for the purple. So I go for this, I click this, and of course we have the these um, tabs here, they are called the color stoppers, okay? So you can use this to adjust the colors, okay? So when you click, it gives you another option to create a new, um, like a slider to adjust this, okay? And that darker, as you adjust it, you see that the, um, the color presentation on our background is changing okay now you can also use this background or use this color stopper tabs to also change the color so when you click this or when you click the first option here 
okay so you come down to where you have color and you click that so you can also change the color to maybe a darker color a darker shade all right and you see darker so as you can see as i change the color on my um color picker you can see that it, it changes on on the background all right so i want it let's just say darker color because i want from a dark to a fade um color okay so i click ok i can also come here and do same all right so let's say i want a yellow or something i can also do that as well from here and then i click ok well, so i can slide this option okay further or backwards all right so you can see the changes on our background as well all right so when i'm done i click ok now another option on my um gradient option here is that i can also change it from linear to you know okay i, I can also express or i can also customize um the style how the gradient color combination would appear on my background so i go to a linear all right and i hit radial as you can see it changes into like um the 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 lighter color is outside and the inner color is it's um, the darker color is on the inside however i can reverse it so if i click reverse it comes out opposite all right all right but i think it's better this way so you can adjust the scale and all that make it bigger or smaller i think i can actually leave that the default of 100 all right um you can also change it to angle if you want it to be uh, reflecting at an angle or reflected or diamond or whatever okay so whichever option you want to decide uh, whichever option you think is best for you but i think um radio is cool okay i think i like this one so you can um of course just keep exploring other options you can go again and change it to maybe a pink i want a pink this time around and now that you click ok all right so this is how you change the color of a background in for the shop so i'm sure you had value from this video if you did please give the video a like share the video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more amazing graphic design tips and tricks so till i see you in my next video Take care and stay safe.